I like layering, but I see it's the same thing over and over. Different names, same thing. Let's try some new ones. If you watch any of my other platforms, including YouTube, you'll know that I love layering. I am a fan of layering. I'm a fan of wearing five, six, seven, sometimes 10 fragrances at one time. Primarily because I can't help myself every time I see a bottle, regardless of if I already sprayed it or not, I keep spraying. I do understand that a lot of you are still not about that layer in life. You're just not there yet. And that's okay. What you are looking at are all the fragrances I layer together, not at one time, although I probably could have. <laughs> so let's get started with these combinations. If you have not watched any of my other videos, once we're done watching this video, go check them out because I've talked about Kay Alley's Yum Pistachio Gelato 33 numerous times. In fact, I've been using Yum Pistachio Gelato as my layering fragrance more than Vanilla 28 recently. I layered this fragrance with one of the House of Siage's fragrances from the Whispers of the Garden original line. This is Whispers of Guidance. It is a beautiful fragrance. My favorite from the Whispers of the Garden collection, the original seven that came out. I truly enjoy wearing Whispers of Guidance. I like the fact that all the fruit notes really projects on my skin. That's the most that I get. The apricot, bergamot, and blackcurrant, I smell it throughout the entire wear of this fragrance. The reason I layered it with K. Ali's Yum Pistachio Gelato is because all the sweet florals that's in this fragrance, and then the pear, and the marshmallow, and all the whip, all the sweetness, it actually enhances Whispers of Guidance. If you have these fragrances in your collection, layer them together and then thank me later this combo this combo oh my gosh this fragrance in itself flamenco by ramon monegal one of my favorite fresh rose floral with some fruits in it absolutely love this it's divine to wear by itself but when i started layering it with other fragrances i noticed the true potential of creating a scent basically of my own, to be honest with you. The raspberry in here is just so refreshing and the rose has that damn cool feeling. Now I've laid this before with Kay Alley's Eden Juicy Apple 01 and I really like that combination. Check out my Instagram for this layering combination or just freeze frame this photo right now and use that. Next layering combination, Kay Alley's Deja Vu White Flower once again. This was a star show in the combination mixing. Every single fragrance combo I was thinking or I was pulling for, I found myself reaching for Deja Vu White Flower. I kid you that 90% of the times I did that. I particularly use this floral fragrance to temper a fragrance that is kind of hard for me to wear. This is a honeyed fragrance from the Whispers of the Garden original collection by House of Siage. All right, Whispers of Innocence actually has some history with me. I got my husband to buy me a vault from the House of Siage back when they were not having really any sale. Ridiculous. Got this, didn't know what I was getting. And when I got it, I was like, I did a video on it. It's one of my earlier videos. Did not like this fragrance at all. It felt like it was a job to love it, okay? You guys know when something feels like a job, it's not really, you're not, you're not feeling it. But I found that I tried different fragrances to layer it with different creams and it still wasn't kicking the way I wanted it to. But utilizing Deja Vu White Flower, I don't know what made me think of it, but it worked. Thank you, Lord. It worked. I finally found something to work with the Whispers of Innocence, honey. This fragrance I'm going to chat about is a pre-release. It's not out yet. Hopefully, it'll be out by the end of the summer. It is a collaboration between Pink Mahogany and Cat the Life Junkie from Instagram. And this is called Bubble Phase. My goodness, this is such a happy fragrance, y'all. You can get free samples. Well, you have to pay for shipping. But other than that, you can get samples so you could test this fragrance out. But I guarantee you, when you smell it, you're going to love it. Layered with Siwa by Mimo. This is one vivacious fragrance combination Seriously? the vivacious <laughs> is that a word vivaciousness <laughs> <laughs> if it's not i just made it up but i'm sure it probably is a word already i really like the gourmand effect of siwa it reminds me a little bit of something else i have in my collection but i do like the popcorn effect i like the whiskey i think it was a really good balance especially with the aldehydes in there i like that now i also like the balance of the notes that were in bubble phase which is the champagne kisses enchanting cranberry cord erotic coconut so this is just very bright very cheerful very energetic very young this combination that's what i was 
getting wearing these two fragrances together. I actually wore them to the gym and then I wore them to go shopping. So I wore this combo twice. Enjoy the experience and I can't wait to get my full bottle of Bubble Face. If you are looking for a fragrance that is tempered green, then it's got tempered lactonic vibes, still a little sweet, and lasts really nice on the skin. Plus it's moisturizing because there's no alcohol. Look no further than Parfums Doe by Dior. I layered this fragrance. I've done this layering combination, I want to say like three times already. So I layered it with Parfums Doe, then I added the Kaali Yum Gelato Pistachio. Yum Pistachio Gelato. You know what I'm talking about. I added this fragrance, and then on top of that, I added Prada's Paradox. The reason I added Prada Paradox is because I wanted some sort of element of candy vibe going on when I added that. So I've worn just these two together, but then I've also added in Prada Paradox to ensure that I had that sweetness, that almost, almost synthetic, almost, you know, basic <laughs> note in there. These three together, I actually really enjoyed wearing. They lasted throughout the day. Longevity was good. Projection was good. Siage was good because every space I came back into, I can smell it. So give this a try if you own these three fragrances. I am adapting my fragrance layering combinations to be a little more unique to create textures and the levels in my layers. Now I pulled in Aura's Body Cream. This is by Moogler because it's green, it's mossy, it's a tad bit broody, it's a very ethereal type note. You know, the fragrance, it reminds me of, to be honest with you, Lord of the Rings. But I love this fragrance. So the body cream is a little lighter in the sweetness. Now, I pulled an old orange intense because this is more tropical. It's a bougie fragrance, right? And it's much more tropical. It's sweet. It gives a little more woody, you know, a more highbrow, whereas the aura is a little more midbrow, not lowbrow. So I thought that these two together is a beautiful love story in my skin. I did get a couple compliments. Although when the people were approaching me who complimented me, I thought I was stinking and maybe they had something to say about the way I smell, but, <laughs> but they didn't, they liked it. Let me know if you've had any interest in creating fragrance layers such as this one. Another effort I've made is to pull in most of my House of Siage signature line and the original Whispers of the Garden and I've been pulling those bad boys out to wear. This one is one of my favorites. Absolutely. This is Love is in the Air. It's the month of June. I was thinking wedding. Of course, I was going to work. So technically, I was thinking wedding fragrance because I'm thinking of doing a video like that. But when I pulled this out and I sniffed it, it always uplifts my mood and it makes me feel incredibly special. I haven't been a bride bride for a long time, but this is what I would wear a wedding, good wedding fragrance scent. Another one would be Kaylee's Deja Vu White Flower. Now, when I pulled these two fragrances out together, initially I was just gonna wear Love is in Air by itself, but when I pulled out Deja Vu White Flower and I sprayed it on my other arm, I was like, hold up, let's mix these two together. And that is exactly what I did really enjoyed wearing these two together and guess what this i think got oh my god at least six or seven compliments in one spot not that i stood up i mean in one space i don't know about you guys but i actually really enjoy getting compliments i really do i don't wear necessarily perfumes to go out and say oh i want somebody to compliment me but i feel that i love getting compliments when i put an effort into creating any type of layering combination or when i wear a fragrance you know i want people to tell me i smell nice not necessarily my perfume smells nice but i smell nice but this here guys look how beautiful this looks on this tray I think this is a perfect wedding fragrance combination. If you are a bride, you need to check these fragrances out. Let me know in the comments if you would layer these two. Another one of my House of Siage fragrances I pulled out was Cherry Garden. Oh my gosh, guys. Cherry is having a moment. Last year, Cherry had its moment and it looks like it ain't going away no time soon. So I love this fragrance first and foremost. Okay, I love the notes in here. I love the way it makes me feel, but I also love this one, which is Love Fest Burning Cherry. And this is by Kay Alley. And this came out, I want to say last year or year before last. All I know is I really love this fragrance as well. Now you can see I put a like dent in here so you know i'm not playing with this fragrance so i took a you know i took a step back from wearing it as often as i was wearing it when i layer these two fragrances together oh my gosh magical it is so beautiful on the skin just looking at this combination the way it's sitting on this tray is also giving me wedding vibes it's giving me date night it's giving me sexy it's giving me elegance 
it is just giving me everything and it felt that way when i was wearing this combination i've been both intentional and unintentional with my combination my interest is just creating depth and texture to my fragrance combos so i pulled in the love fest by kayali then i pulled in the deja vu then i added a little bit of the yum pistachio gelato and the last thing i added was ambrosia imperial by navitas parfum intentional part of this combination was the kayali or kayali fragrances but the unintentional piece came in when i added the navitas ambrosia imperial primarily because it was a last minute addition now if you have these fragrances you'll know that ambrosia imperial is very thick and dense and heavy because of all the different items on it the components of the dates and the banana etc etc so the other fragrances for me they were lighter so i layered those on top two on one arm two on the other if you have all of these fragrances please combine them and let me know what your thoughts are on this composition i have made some mistakes when i created combos but for the most part i do not make the same mistake twice because pam loves smelling good one fragrance combination i know for sure works for me is when i pull in Kama Sutra Revitalize and Body Oil by Skin Potions with any rose-based or floral-based fragrance. This oil does so well. So this combination here is with the Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait Elixir Oil as well as the Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait de Parfum and of course the Kama Sutra Oil. Guys, this is such a hit of a combo right here. If you are a lover of layers with oud, with florals, rose in particular and you still like that woody vibe to it this is definitely a fragrance combination that has that type of texture and it lasts for a very very long time so you're going to get your projection you're going to get your longevity you're going to get your sillage and you're definitely going to get an enjoyment and a ton of compliments when you wear this fragrance layering combination i'm really excited to see how many of you are going to use your extreme oil and your extreme fragrance and the kama sutra please let me know in the comments so all of these fragrance combinations i talked about today they actually served a purpose for me because i really did get compliments on every single one of them i really enjoyed wearing them they are different it's just different from what we normally see here on this youtube space right in, in fact, I think so. I have not seen anybody else do these smell goods like I did today. Now, if I gave you what you wanted and you enjoyed today's video, guys, hit me up on my channel and hit that like button. Comment below and tell me you, you like what you saw. I need you all to interact with me. If you don't do that, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just out here shooting, throwing spaghetti on the wall, and I'm just not about that life, okay? So please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you hit that like button. It's paramount you hit the like button. Make sure you share this video because I'm sure somebody else out there is looking for some bomb ass combinations. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Many thanks for watching today's video. Please take care of yourself and each other. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.